The World Health Organization says half a million people in Europe could die of COVID-19 this winter. The warning comes as infections hit record levels across the continent, particularly in Eastern Europe. Linda Kennedy reports from Hungary, where cases have doubled in a week. Here in Budapest, it's OK to be unmasked when you're outside on the streets. But on public transport, a face mask is now mandatory. It's just one of the curbs being brought back in in some European countries. Romania is the nation worst affected by a fourth wave of coronavirus infections, with health facilities like this county hospital overrun. There are now no intensive care beds available for new patients in the country. Romania last week made wearing face masks in a public place mandatory and has reintroduced a night curfew. The country has the second lowest coronavirus vaccination level in the EU. Just over a third of the adult population are fully vaccinated. The World Health Organization says the new wave is a grave concern. For the 53 countries in the European region, last week's figures made for grim reading. A 6% increase in new cases, 1.8 million new infections and a 12% increase in COVID-related deaths. Germany recorded over 37,000 new coronavirus cases on Friday, a second consecutive daily record. Slovakia, Croatia and Slovenia reported record highs. And infections in Hungary have doubled from last week to 6,800 on Friday. The rapid rise in cases is giving fresh impetus to strategies to boost vaccination numbers. Here in Hungary, for example, there has been a vaccination action programme announced. But here and across Europe, there's concern as to whether this is enough to avoid tougher new restrictions being brought in for Europe's Christmas holiday season. Linda Kennedy, CGTN, Budapest.